with Uniweld products. For a combination of reasons such as cost and higher efficiencies, more manufacturers are now building their evaporator and condenser coils using aluminum. Now, as more of these aluminum coils are introduced to the market, technicians will be faced with the challenge of making aluminum repairs. Now, working with aluminum is a little different than working with copper because soldering aluminum is a low temperature process and potentially it can cause more problems if executed poorly. Now, regardless of what soldering or brazing apparatus you're using, it's all about controlling the heat. So whether you have a pitted coil or a leak at a transitional joint, or maybe somebody accidentally drove a screw through the coil while they were putting the panels back on, you'll be prepared with UniWeld's Uni4300 soft solder kit. Now the Uni4300 kit can be used to join aluminum, as well as dissimilar metals like aluminum to copper, aluminum to brass, and copper to brass. And it's the best option for aluminum coil repair because it has a very low melting point of 500 degrees Fahrenheit and a high tensile strength of 20,000 pounds. Now, the kit comes with a 10-foot coil of soft solder, a two-ounce bottle of flux, and a convenient flux applicator with a metal tip. Now, the flux applicator allows you to reach really tight spots, and that metal tip allows you to apply flux to a preheated tubing without melting the tip. Now, I have an aluminum evaporator coil here, and I've identified a hole just behind the fins. So using Uniwell's Uni4300 kit, let's go ahead and repair this hole. The fins have been removed. Now for the best results, remove any oil and grease from the surface using a chemical solvent and remove any oxides using a stainless steel wire brush or emery cloth. The tubing has been cleaned, so let's now prep our flux. Pull the plunger out of the syringe and squirt the flux into the barrel. When you have enough flux for the job, insert the plunger into the barrel, point the metal tip up and squeeze out any air. Now before applying the flux, preheat the tubing. This will help prevent the flux from burning and becoming an inhibitor that prevents the alloy from bonding properly to the base metal. Using the flux applicator, apply flux to the area where the bond will happen. Continue heating the tubing by feathering the flame on the sides of the bond area and allowing the heat to transfer in toward the flux. As the flux heats up, it will begin to bubble and you'll notice a little flash of green. At this point, the solder can be applied. Don't use the flame to melt the solder. Instead, the base metal should be hot enough to melt the solder on contact. Now it is possible to overheat the flux and burn it. If this happens, the flux will turn brown and the solder won't flow right away. But that's okay. Just add a bit more flux and a little more heat and you'll see that solder smooth right out. Allow the aluminum to cool and clean the area of any residual flux. Save any remaining flux in the syringe by squeezing it back into the flux bottle and clean the syringe by squeezing some water through it a few times for future use. Uniwell's Uni4300 soft solder kit makes aluminum coil repair a quick and simple task and the same process should be used when joining dissimilar metals as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniwell, quality tools that go to work with you.